So my name is Laura and um, I'm from Finland and I work here in Alula actually uh, with the Royal Commission of, of Alula for the marketing department. Alula is in northwest uh, Saudi Arabia and um, it's a part of the Nabatean Kingdom. It's uh, the same uh, civilization that uh, built and lived in Petra in Jordan and this is their southernmost uh, biggest uh, city. Well, I came actually uh, 14 years ago to work here and um, then I just fell in love with the country. I came to to Alula in 2008, the first time, and I visited this site. Back then it was um, a very much remote place to come to. Um, it's still very peaceful and quiet here. Um, and it's a very unique location that's just sort of really intrigued me and that's uh, made me really um, want to stay in Sabri longer and explore more. I also have a, a social media channel called Blue Abaya and um, this is about Saudi tourism in general and I started that back in 2010 yeah and that was because there was kind of a, like a lack of uh, information I couldn't find I was trying to travel myself I couldn't find the information I was looking for so then I thought I might as well do it myself <laughs> so I just started the blog then so on Instagram TikTok and Twitter it's uh, Blue Abaya is the handle yeah now we're standing in uh, in front of um, an outcrop in Hegra uh, called uh, Jebel Al Banat and uh, this is called Al Jebel Al Banat means the, uh, the mountain of the girls or the daughters uh, that's because most of the tombs in this area are actually owned by women how do we know that is because um, we have it carved on top of the of the tombs so we have the information uh, who owned this tomb, who carved it, who's allowed to use this tomb. So it's very interesting um, details that we can we can find here. And uh, on this outcrop there's 30, 30 tombs of which 26 are owned by women. And uh, in the entire Hegra there's uh, over 100 tombs that have this uh, decorative facades. And most of them we know when they were carved and, and who owned. Oh, I would say it's it's one of the like most amazing places to be right now, to be honest. In Saudi, um, we we have so much space here. It's it's clean air. It's you know you can come here and it's like uh, COVID friendly. You have like this whole place to your, yourself. Uh, we have uh, the luxury here to to uh, travel safely around. And not only here in, in Hegra, we have so many other places in, in Allah that are uh, very interesting. Actually, the history goes back um, thousands and thousands of years here, the human history. So this has been traditionally um, a place where people would stop by on, on uh, trade routes from, from Yemen um, up until Damascus, until, until recent, recent times. So it's, a, it's a, like a hub of, of people coming together. Uh, that's that's Allah now and in the past. So if you want to find out more about this area, uh, you can go to uh, experienceallah.com and uh, you'll find all the, all the activities and all the heritage sites um, in, in this site and all the information how to book. Uh, so experience Allah also on the social media.